All right, so hang on. Um, let me grab my drink. So I, upon hearing that everyone was going to have the opportunity to do a speech last night, I decided to do nothing about it. So here I am. I just going, spitting from the heart. Justin, I've known this guy for 14 years, and I feel like everyone has a weird story about how they just ran into Justin. Right? And we've been in a band together. We've been on government watch list together. That's neither here nor there. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to the bartenders back there. They gave me um, one, not one, not two, but a secret third number of shots of tequila. Um, it rhymes with three. I don't want to tread over all the ground that a lot of other people do when they say, They've enjoyed someone's company, and I don't mean to be a downer, but I think at this age, at this point in our lives, at any point in our lives, we recognize that one of the more unsettling and surprising um, measures of friendship is lack thereof. You all have had friends that grew apart because of time and space, and one of the things that I appreciate so much about Justin is that no matter how far away or how many, how much time it, there was between me and him seeing each other again, whether it was him scooping me up from the airport and giving me a ride to where I was going to go hang out at. It was just those 30 minutes of time that made our bond so strong. And I could go on and on about all the things we have rambled about and agree upon, blah, blah, blah. But it was that dedication that upon seeing that he focused that same behavior onto so many other people, it was not just a, a dedication but a discipline that you have to your friends, to your comrades, to your family that you don't see in a whole lot of people. It's very rare. And in getting to meet Libby, I got to see not only a mirror image of that, but rather um, an enigma, two enigmas that have learned how to solve each other and continue to create solutions for one another. Um, like I said, that dedication, that discipline, is because you want to carry on those memories that you've paved in the past because you know you will have so many more. And I'm so grateful that you have someone like him who is so dedicated to that discipline of creating memories. And I think you know what that means. But I'm going to stop talking soon. <laughs> but Justin is the most righteous of dudes. So the to the two of you, here's to all the best paved memories of the future. Thank you very much.